I am ecstatic today and stoked because this is my very first pair of the North Face boots. I'm looking for some boots. Oh, I see some boots up here. Now, oh, check out these New Balance shoes. Now, there's a New Balance. Oh, this is nice. A skateboarding shoe. Oh, check out this. The North Face Back to Berkeley 3. Dry vent technology. I think that's the waterproof technology. Even though it's cloth, I think it's waterproof thing right here. That looks very nice. Look at this colorway. Look at the outsole too. Oh yeah, let's pick up this pair. Perfect for winter. Let's go. So as you can clearly see, these are hiking boots. This is called the Back to Berkeley 3s. And yes, they are waterproof. So let me go ahead and step you through it. A long checklist of important features. Featuring waterproof suede, okay? There's this suede material right there. You can see how nice the suede is. See that? Going back and forth. Admire that beauty. And along with that, you see the upper right here. This is called ballistic nylon. That gives you that waterproofing, which they call the dry vent technology specific patented to the North Face. So you see the North Face logo right there attached to the side. And this is a beautiful colorway too. It kind of has that like a, how you say like a hunch, not hunter green, but like a, a greenish turquoise blend to it, very subtle. And on the back, you also say it's a North Face. You have this pull tab for easy in and out. And let's take a look at the inside, guys. It has what's called a ortholite sock liner, okay? Right there. And it also features a very nice single density molded EVA midsole. Do you see right there? It looks like this goes in separate material, all right? And if you take a look at the design right there, it has a compression molded TPU heel. Okay, for added stability and support. And the also is made with up to 20% recycled material right there. The also is very exclusive. See the treads, dispels the water. Very nice. It has a different heel material and texture. Okay. And with the lacing system, you have these uh, metallic collars right there on the upper top unit and your traditional. Uh, flat shoelaces in a different color, combining it for the perfect color combination and coronation. And of course, you know, that's the North Face big tongue logos. So it looks like the insole is not removable. I think it's pretty much glued down. So in terms of appearance, I think this is a really handsomely designed pair of boots. You get that ballistic nylon look and feel, and also the suede texture. The colorway, they really did a great job mixing up this colorway. I mean, you throw in that kind of like yellowish brown shoelaces, it really makes it stand up. And they didn't put any super large uh, naming on here other than the tongue but i kind of wish that oh it does have a subtle one so you know if you're looking for some a pair of shoes that doesn't have too much overdo it on the branding this is the perfect pair for you i really love the hands-up design i give it a lucky number eight well absolutely gorgeous day for a hike just before thanksgiving dinner So in terms of comfort and performance, these pretty much fit through the sides. Even though it looks a little bit small, it fits similar size to Adidas and Nike. In terms of the waterproofing, it does an excellent job. You have to make sure that it doesn't go through this web area because beyond that, it's not waterproof. Uh, so there's their own patented drive vent technology. It's not like uh, Gore-Tex, like which like ACG uses and other branding. And in terms of comfort, uh, 
the sole is not soft like Under Armour Hover Technology and Nike Air Max. It does a good job of absorbing the uh, shock absorption. If you jump or step into uh, going down the hill, and the grip is very nice with the outsole markings. Overall, it's a pretty good performer. I give it a seven out of ten. It could use a little bit better, um, considering this is a fairly expensive pair of hiking boots. Now, in terms of value, I have to admit this is probably the most expensive pair of. Hiking boots I've ever reviewed. North Face is always tends to be higher priced than Timberland, even some sometimes even Nike. I think they price it accordingly because of the North Face brand. Um, I feel that it's a little bit overpriced, even though it it's a beautiful, handsomely designed pair of boots that performs above average. The value I feel that. It's a little bit underwhelming, unfortunately. Uh, maybe if they go price it down, or maybe they bring out the new model, then you can take a look at this. Value-wise, unfortunately, this only gets a six out of ten. The final verdict is in. The North Face Back to Berkeley Three waterproof hiking boots gets an overall grade of seven out of ten. I feel like the thing that stands out about this shoe is that it's handsomely designed colorway really matches to a perfect 10 but most importantly i finally have my very first pair of the north face shoes so you're looking for if you are you just like a loyal fan of the north face and you're looking for a handsomely crafted and designed hiking boots with quality material then this might be the one for you.